finger width and then like this not professional so keep the flip over there <laughs> keep messing up um, but I've got my rear uh, set up for the light system which is running on 25mm full screw and 25mm um, rails uh, nothing precision because it's only for the lights just to come up and down uh, keep the parts heated or to reverse up and down continuously and keep the whole part uh, warm to a certain degree maybe for uh, annealing if it need be potential um, just run on 8 either side so 16 200 watt medium infrared medium weight infrared lamp um, so it's about 3.2 kilowatts uh, 220 240 volts um, so the rails in the back are just 25mm full screw um, I've got 10mm uh, angle, angle to mould still so mould this it should be more than capable because it's only a thin frame going across just for the lights so this should be going all the way throughout the internal frame keeping clear from the gantry and the head itself um, and this is just running see on the back close enough on the back there's 25 two lots of 25 millimeter um, runs on the rail and this is just running through here it's fixed down to the bottom um, as it didn't need to be uh, and that'll just be, be ran by my uh, JMT 400 watt servos um, hopefully it's fairly noisy I'm going to spin it I was spinning it earlier um, but it's fixed out I don't know if you can hear that it's a bit I'll put some nice grease on it and you'll see Anything a bit better on it. Um, just a bit of playing around. The, the metal's better at the moment, I'll give it a bit of a paint. Um, so just an oxide, grey oxide, like I've done with the rest of the frame. Um, once that's done, uh, I've got the floor down, you won't see it right now. I will show you once it's completed. So I'll need to do the light fixtures as well for the um, heat in the bed. That's why I like to mess around with. If I put a little bit too much heat in my bed, and I'm not going to hold it warm. The material we're using in here is a one millimetre thick uh, fibreglass sheeting, uh, but coated in an aluminium coating. So I'll just grab that quickly and show you. Right. So I have a, this is 1.2, 1.2 polymeters wide, 25 metre long roll. Uh, this one's too bad, I think it's one about altogether uh, 30 square metres, uh, 160 pounds. So, it's not terrible. I've spent a bit more on the upper, upper uh, fabric for my gantry lot because I need to maintain the heat in the chamber. And that's going to, I'm hoping to get over the 100 marks if I can. But since I'm concentrating on mainly the heat in the parts, uh, anything, the thermal plastics and polymers that are going in here, I'm not so worried about heating the chamber because I don't want to lose too much heat and get too much variation in thermal temperatures in the chamber. So it's just mainly for maintaining temperature in there and eventually I'll probably once I get the um it didn't have to do Olsen and the five axis on there going I'll probably make myself some nice big high temperature um fans so I've noticed most of the ones I've looked at unless you want to spend premium money um only goes for around about 90 90 C um and those can't handle them all so I'll just do it if I can do a cheap one at a later stage but that's not now that's way down the line
Um, and in between that, because obviously there's going to be a space and you don't want to lose all your heat out the back, uh, just going to use a silicon um, sheet and have to get that one little bit and just basically overlap so as it goes in between, um, runs up and down, uh, it'll keep an absolute minimum gap there available for heat to escape. Um, so hopefully that will work very, very well. Like I said, the other day, in true form, we did uh, yeah, when it goes to big sizes, keeping everything absolutely square as possible. So I've been playing around with this part of the It's getting better. I do need to give it a good clean. Uh, I'll get some better grease in there. Uh, so hopefully that'll run a lot smoother. But it do seem to work a lot nicer. We'll fill a load of it. It's not bad. Look, that's fine. And even we go with it. So, yeah. Hopefully I'll start working. Um, I don't mention before this is all running on belts. Uh, I, the lead screws, full screws, that, are, that would have been driving it, would have been a bit of a nightmare to. Well, I think it would be really too much. This one here back here would have been sort of size I needed, but you've got to worry about width and uh, all the modifications needed for it. And this is quite noisy, so the, the, I'm going to get enough noise out of this, I think, as it is, because I've got all the panel in. Uh, even when I inflate all the panel in, I'm going to have to make sure everything's secured. All the edges are nice and uh, closed up with uh, high temperature sealant. Hopefully that deadens a lot of sound. Um, it's not worth case now. I'm going to have to bite the bullet and put some deadening uh, insulation on the outer side to help. But I suppose when it fills up the vinyl, that really knows what an important noise it is. But it's quite, as you can hear, you can imagine that all day long. It's very annoying. Um, but I'll do my best anyway. So thanks for watching. If you are interested in this, please do me a favour, like everyone else said, subscribe and also do the like the old thumbs up because it apparently does help with um, viewers, kind of other viewers who have similar interests kind of catching the videos and that would be much appreciated. So thanks very much. Uh, good night.